Question three. So, uh, draw a little sketch with all the various uh, forces on it. So remember what we've got. We've got the normal reaction perpendicular to the slope. We've got the tension in the um, in the string being pulled. We've got the weight going straight down. And we've got the friction in the opposite direction to the potential motion. So the, the, the um, friction going down the slope. So resolving di diagonally right to left. So we've got um, R plus T sin uh, alpha, so R plus this, equaling going the other way down here, 2G cos 30, adjacent, uh, cos 30, so that's um, this. Uh, sin alpha, given that tan alpha is 3 over 4, is 3 over 5, so that's our first equation with two unknowns, R and T. Secondly, let's uh, resolve diagonally up the slope, so T cos alpha, this force here, equals the friction plus the appropriate element of the um, of the weight, this bit here, 2g sin 30. And um, yeah, so that's our second equation uh, once we've actually realized that cos alpha is 4 over 5. So there's our two equations, two unknowns. So we've just basically got to solve to find T and T. Uh, T. So uh, I've taken 1 and rearranged it to make R the subject, calling that 3. I've then substituted 3 into 2, worked my way through the algebra, and got T being 15.5.